Alright guys, if you hear something in the background, I'm sorry, it's Joe from Canada. Uh, I love watching his uh, bushcraft uh, videos. It just really reminds me of my place up north. Ooh, that's dried off now. Now, what I'm doing, kind of cutting up some potatoes. What the fuck needed? Everyone, you know what? So that you guys can see it better. Um, hold on here. Let's see if I can. Yeah, there we go. You don't need to see my ugly mug anyway. And so that you can see, it is the Felton Even. The A1. Put a pinky lanyard on there. But everyone talks about how, you know, certain knives are better at processing food, this and that. But you know what? As long as your knife is sharp. You know what? You can slice whatever you need. Okay? Um, keep your knife sharp. Use it for food prepping. Use it here at home. Use it out in the field. You know, get out. Use your knives. You know. Um, as a matter of fact, here, I'll, hold on. I'll, I'll grab another knife. Hold on. Sorry, I gotta stand back. So, let's go a little stupid. This is a cold steel Laredo buoy. Right? Size comparison. Size comparison. Well, let's bring that in. Alright. Big old buoy. Fighting buoy. Right? don't use that for food prep. Why would you ever use that for food prep? Because as long as your knife is sharp and you pay attention to what you're doing, you can dice up whatever you need. Now this this Laredo, it's a cold steel Laredo. It's actually out of 01. Sorry, I'm a traditionalist when it comes to buoys. They got they got to be a carbon steel. When you're talking a buoy, it's got to be carbon steel. Of course, it's got the coffin handle. You know, compared to this, which is a survival knife. You know, it's personal preference, really. But you can. It's a fighting bully. But that's not what this movie's on. Uh, this one. I'm trying to show you that a survival knife, even at 6 millimeters thick, as long as it's properly sharpened, and you, you use the knife, and you know what you're doing. I mean, you can skin a potato if you need to skins but I'm not worried about the skins I can slice them and dice them and whatever I'm actually getting ready to I'm prepping dinner right now but um yeah I've heard so many so much different talk about different knives and whatnot that you can use but for me you know, as long as the knife is sharp, it's a good knife, and you spend enough damn time in the kitchen. You can slice, you can dice, you can process game, you can do whatever you need to do with a good knife, okay? So, don't let anyone tell you a knife is too thick to use in the kitchen. Now, I'm not going to lie, you take this knife and compare it with, like, a regular kitchen knife. That spine, this spine. This is going to slice through the food a lot easier, a lot cleaner. But, with a survival knife, you know, it's still going to cut and dice, just like you take this knife. 
My old lady's going to kill me when she gets home. You know, it does the same, oops, same thing. It doesn't matter. Take your time. Pay attention to what you're doing. Use a knife. Use a knife. I could do this with any of my knives. Any of my hunting knives. Any of my survival knives. Even my big, 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 big buoys. Um, pay attention to what you're doing. Um, certain knives are made for certain jobs. Certain knives make the jobs easier. Whatever you need. So, if anyone tells you you can't use this for food prep, tell them to blow it out your ass. If anyone says, well, it's only used for this. No. Most knives, full tang knives, you can use for multi-things. They're, they're a multi-tool. But, that's up to you to figure out. Keep your knife sharp. Keep your fingers out of the way. Be safe, y'all. See you next time.